Hi, Jim Thomas here with Niles Discovery Church. Today is a special day for us. Today is the day that the city of Fremont is going to make their decision, the council is going to make their decision on where to put the Housing Navigation Center. Uh, we've been instrumental in trying to get this thing going. It's a special ministry to us to help some of the folk that are homeless get into stable housing, but we have been met with a lot of opposition. We hoped that it would be put onto our property, but the city decided that they were going to look at two of theirs, and today's the day they're going to make a decision as to which one it's going to be. We're going to head off in just a little bit over to the city hall, where people are currently gathering and showing their support either for or against the Housing Navigation Center. The people that are against it will be either wearing red or blue, depending upon which neighborhood that they're in, and those of us that support it will be wearing white. People gather around, they're going to be signing petitions, they're going to be signing uh, guest lists, whatever, to let the city know that they're there for the position that they're there for. Might even get a couple of people to say a few things, we'll see, and then share some clips from the City of Fremont the Council as they make their decision. Perhaps even some clips of people making their statements. So check it out. Yeah, KPIX is here. Ah, here's our friends over here. Is he? Hi. Good. Hey. Good. So Jeff, Jeff, when did you get here? Two-ish? So almost two hours ago. Huh? Oh. <laughs> you snooze, you lose. Better man than I. I couldn't last that long. Hi, guys. John. Hi, John. Smile, you're on candid camera. Documenting the day or the night. Yes. However, I'm going to hide my single-use single uh, water bottle. <laughs> so, there's a smattering of white shirts, but there's a lot of red shirts. Uh, look at this one over here. So I cannot see them. It says, uh, help homeless people say no to h &C. Little help, big waste. There we go. Good cause, uh, bad location, no decoder. Oh, by the way, these blue t-shirts, I don't know if you know this or not, but they had them printed up and they used them to go to the different workshops that were done as well as to the city council meetings and the thing was is you come by and you pick up your blue shirt and then when the day is done you return it so it can be reused this is the friends of the navigation center table they're, they're doing a food bank here we've already brought some tuna and some macaroni and cheese and another thing that they're doing here which i think is really cool in support of all the folks here, in support of the Housing Navigation Center, they got little sweets to keep your blood sugar from tanking and pizza. Yes. <laughs> David, 
I wanted to say that was a great interview okay. this morning. Thank you very yeah. much. You had a chance to listen. To I that. did. I did. Uh, how did you get selected to be? It on was kind of one of those things where, at the last minute, they reached out to friends of the Housing Navigation Center. Hayes heard about it. Mm -hmm. Hayes, Tara, other people had morning commitments. And they figured, well, why don't you do it? I'm such sure. All right. Happy to do it. Perfect. I'm glad you did. It sounded really good. Thank you very much. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Randy. Uh, let me see. What is this? Well, I'm assuming this might says, be... says, welcome neighbors, I guess. Yeah, welcome neighbors. Any neighbor, all neighbors. So there you have it. All the different teams, blue, red, white, coming together to, to say their piece on the Housing Navigation Center to the City Council who was going to make their decision that day. I've gotten some clips from the meeting, so here we go. Enjoy. And I'm glad that, that we are now meeting people halfway. And so we're at 200, or, or almost 200, at 192. And for those, no oh, okay, so we are only a third of the way through. So I can't say meet me halfway. I can see we've given out 400, yes. Um. I just really want to thank um, the friends of HNC. We, uh, I heard from from some of the leadership of that group, and they said that even though over 150 of them showed up here, that they got together and decided to have only six people speak. So they made sure that those six people did not repeat the same message over and over again. <laughs> and I really want to praise that. I think it is a very courteous way of dealing with city council. And I really highly recommend that any group that speaks before council consider doing that instead of repeating the same thing over and over. It really is not effective when you hear the same messages over and over. Well, thank you all for coming out. Um, you know, you, you had a lot to say. <laughs> over and over sometimes, but that's okay. Um, I understand uh, everybody's concern about this issue, but as Councilmember Bacon said, this is a crisis. There are so many people that are just about this far from being homeless themselves. Um, well, first I wanna thank everybody for uh, this process. Um, this is the most uh, robust civic engagement process we've ever had on any project or any development or anything in Fremont. So, so kudos to uh, all the residents and the city staff for putting this together. Let's give it up for everybody. I also wanted to say something that's very important. I think that um, has been hard for me to watch it. When we come together, it should be working together and not by threat or intimidation. We are here because we want to serve all of you, and we are partners, and we appreciate that you've entrusted us with that care. I will see the homeless every day, and I welcome them. I welcome them with open arms and with open heart because I feel that they are my neighbors. They're people that I'm proud to be able to serve. They're human beings, and that if we can't see that and we can't exemplify that to our students and our families, it's a shame because what we teach in our schools is curriculum about head, hands, and heart. To use our head to recognize that we have the ability and we are blessed with so many great advantages that if we don't have the heart to be able to serve and provide that service to others, we are not doing the best for our communities. And I think we've heard from all of you. I will say in one final closing message though, I would echo my council members' feedback in that if you're coming to the meetings, and we hope that you will be involved, be it for budget and other things in the future, that you consider how we can work with one another and if it's possible to not repeat. Because we, much like you, are listening and are hopeful that you understand that we also want to have this dialogue while you're all still awake. I'm proud to make this motion to have the Homeless Navigation Center located in downtown and items two through seven. Thank you. I think we have a motion and it's accepted those by Council Member Kasten and it's seconded by Council Member Jones. Um, may I get people to please make a vote on this motion. And I'm excited to say that this is unanimously accepted by the entire city council. So at this time, we thank everyone for their process. And I'd like to say that the meeting is adjourned at 11.10 p.m.
We're very happy that the City of Fremont has unanimously voted to build the Housing Navigation Center. We we're kind of hoping it would be at our church, but somewhere in Fremont is fine. It will be one small step in helping to mitigate the homelessness crisis. It serves those functional homeless that have the capability of moving into permanent housing, but there are many other demographics of the homelessness that need help as well. But that kind of help for them depends upon that specific demographic. To learn more, look down at our description below. I'll have a few links that will provide you with information about what we're doing and the different types of homelessness and how we're going to be able to try and, and help them. So be sure to check all of that out. Uh, if you like this video, click like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Please subscribe. Hit the alarm button if you want to hear about more videos. We're going to have many more videos about all the different ministries that we're doing, so please check back often, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.